Here's your step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your own PAL World server on your computer. So first, we gotta go to Steam. And we are going to go to Games and Software. We're gonna check Tools. And then in the search bar, type PAL World. You're looking for PAL World Dedicated Server. You're gonna hit Install. Um, let's see what happens here. Uh, we'll save it. Save it anywhere. Next, go to the first link in the description. You're gonna, it's to Steam CMD which is something to help make servers. And you're gonna go down to Windows, hit this little one, gonna download. It's a zip file, so open it, take the extraction. You're gonna to wanna to make a folder, put it inside, and then you're just gonna run it. It's gonna take a few minutes and it's just gonna go right down the list of downloading everything it needs. And when it's all done, it should say Steam, little asterisk at the bottom, what you wanna, Type in next is logon anonymous. Then it should connect anonymously to Steam Public. Wait for it. And then you're going to type in app underscore update 2394010. Validate. And then it should start processing all the information it needs to set up the Power World server. It'll take a couple minutes. When it says success app installed, go to the place where you saved your Power World server. Next thing we have to do is open up the config file to bolt Power World settings. You can change uh, daytime, nighttime, capture rate, whatever. But what we need to do is scroll. We're looking for public port 8211. Now, right now it's bugged, but You'll be able to set up a server password and an admin password, server description, and then the name of your server once they fix it in the current patch. It is broken right now, so this is where you'll do it later on. But we have what we need. We have 8211 is what we need. It's the public port. You can change it if necessary. You don't have to. I recommend you don't. Finally, everybody's favorite part when setting up a server, port forwarding and triggering. Now, what you're going to need is to go down to Windows, type CMD, just the command prompt. You're going to want to type in ipconfig. And it should show all your information. Mine's blurred out, of course. You're looking for default gateway. What you need is the numbers at the end. Then you want to go back to your internet browser, type those numbers in. If you did it correctly, you should be brought to a page for your internet router. Now, it could also just be a pop-up at the top that asks you for a username and password. Each router has a different setup, but generally, as long as you haven't changed it, the username should just be admin and password should just be password. Nine times out of 10, that's what it is. If not, you're going to have to go on your specific router and figure out what it is. Now I have Xfinity and it wants me to do everything on my phone. So if you don't have Xfinity, that should work and bring after you put in admin password. Each layout for routers is different. I've had a couple different routers before, but generally you're looking for a place called port forwarding and triggering. When you find it, should be a relatively the same process for everybody. You might wanna Google your specific router on how to activate port forward and triggering. On your computer, make a new port forward and put in a new port number, that being 8211, TCP slash UDP. Then repeat this process for 25575. Okay, the last thing we need to do is you need to go to Google and you need to type in my IP address. Look for it, any, I, any website will do, it'll tell you what it is. What you're looking for is the IPv4 address. You wanna copy that address, go back to your server file, hit PAL server, it'll start the server up. Go to Steam and you can go into the game. Now that you're in the game, hit join multiplayer game, paste in your IP address and then followed by a colon, eight to 11, then hit connect. It should bring you to the character customization screen, but I did this beforehand to make sure it worked. Now you should be ready to play Power World with your friends. Have a good one and enjoy playing Power World.